So this morning I got a message in my Discord, uh, direct message on Discord from Sputnik, who has completed their second map using Prog's Dump 2.0. And so I wanted to play it and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and record a blind playthrough. But I gotta be honest with you, that recording, I was interrupted, I got distracted, I saw things out of the corner of my eye, I was playing terribly. So this is not a blind playthrough. Now, I'm gonna play on skill one, which is normal. And the author recommends to either play on normal or hard. And I'm not gonna play on hard, even though I know the map, because I think it would be an interesting uh, you know, thing for you to see this level and then try it yourself on hard. Um, it, it explains why that is in the README, but in a nutshell, all the monsters are berserk. Um, in Prog's Dump, you can set a monster to berserk, uh, which will skip their pain animation. So, you know, when the uh, enforcers get hit, they fall down and all that stuff. So. Anyway, I would try this map. If you're gonna download it and play it, I would try it on hard. There are uh, monster styles. There are different types of monsters in this. There are nail grunts. There are um, grenade. There's a nail grunt right there. The green guys are nail grunts. I think they have a little bit more health. You've got a couple ver uh, versions of enforcers as well. All right, so I'm gonna try to play this a little better and I'm gonna try to find a few more secrets too. I found three before. So in that the recording that you'll never see because I just deleted it, um, I was talking about these monster styles and why they exist. First of all, it was a coding experiment. I wanted, you know, I was learning. Okay, these guys are a little tougher. I was learning Quake C and um, tried out some experiments and I decided to go ahead and include them into the game and all that means is just, you know, alternate firing modes. Hey, thanks for killing that dog, dude. Alright, so we've got um, a grenade uh, grunt there. Let's see, there's a switch and let's see, was there... Oh, you know what? I want to go back down there. I want to go back down there. There's a cool secret right here. Nice. There we go, I'll take it. So I really like that, uh, those uh, full bright textures behind the grill there. That's very, very creative. All right, up. Now back to what I was talking about. So um, yeah, those are um, just monster styles as we call them in Prog Stump. All right, so this is um, behind glass here. Okay, do I shoot this? Oh yeah, that's right. Shoot this, love the fish, the rot fish. I'll talk about those in a minute. Hey, you missed me. Okay, now, uh, originally I didn't notice this right away and I was gonna suggest maybe a flashing light to draw attention to it, but it's pretty cool, it still works. Um, oops, I killed the fish. I think that's kind of a secret type of thing. Hello. The underwater gate has opened. All right, so I'm gonna go down that underwater gate. I already got this dialed in. This is nothing, okay. Underwater gate, where are you? There we go. Okay. Very cool kind of ghostly scrags here. I love that effect. Super easy to do in, you know, actually you can do it in any, any version, vanilla or whatever. Um, I just added it and made it easier to do in Prog's Dump. Oh, okay, so now there's a feature of Prog's Dump. You can have um, uh, monsters drop items when they die. Now, there is a risk that you could break the progression of the level, and I put that in the, um, I put that in the manual, but I, you know what? I think it's kind of cool to have a monster drop a key. I think it's a fun, uh, opens up possibilities. You know, oh, I better get out of here. Okay, let's get out. All right, so this thing respawns if you want to go back down. All right, that toggles that. Oh, bye guys. All right, so now I have the silver key. Let's rock. Let's go. 
Okay, I'm going to save because I'm... Even though I know the map, I'm pretty terrible. So, um... Oh, good. I'm glad I saved. <laughs> I guess I need to pay closer attention to my health. Yeah, see, one of those nails just owns you. Okay. Okay, uh, I need to do something different. Like, maybe try to find some health. There's some health. Any health over here? Alright, well, I've got a little more health now, so... Let's try this. I could always do the door... exploit the door problem here. Um... Andrew Yoder did a great article on the door problem of combat design, which I need to kind of go back and reread. It's been a while. I think he did a video on it as well. Door's busted. So is that dog. All right, see, I, I seem like I'm playing well, but I've already played this map. So uh, uh, I was telling people, oh, I've been working a progs dump. I haven't really been playing anything. I've missed so many releases. You know, Alk Jam and January Jump Jam and all these great um, mapping releases. I have not played anything because I've been working on Prog's Dump version 3 um, in my spare time. Sweet. Heard that open. Okay, that's... Weird nail guy. Okay, what am I doing? Where am I going? I've got to open that. This is not going to open. This is going to open. Oh, yeah, before, when I played this before... When I played this before, I didn't notice this ladder here. It was a little dark, so that's my only um, really big critique. There's a couple of dark sections in the map. And uh, what you could do is an, uh, an up light, you know, just a, a light shining upward. Uh, I did it in uh, the sample map for, um, called PD Ladders. And uh, basically, just have a light shining, uh, what, zero, do an M angle of zero, negative 90, zero, I believe that's right. Um, and then you've got a light that just points directly up. So anyhow, all right, so we've got this guy. Wait. Open. Need to go up here and actually do something, right? Hello. It's my own... Hello, it's my own mod. I don't even know how to go up a ladder. <laughs> I'm going to edit this out. All right, there we go. <laughs> I'm such a dork. All right, sorry about that. Um, you know, critics will be like, well, ladders aren't that great and Prague's done. Uh, but oh well, that's too bad. Um, let's do this, guys. Get some. Oh. Of course. Now I know these darker colored um, enforcers are tougher. They have more health. Uh, you know, that's something that the mapper sets, right? So I just added the styles and you can set any, you can set custom health any way you want in Prague's dump. And so that's up to the mapper. And, and you know, just recently some folks were talking about, you know, breaking the basic gameplay of Quake. Uh, with mods and things like that, but I, you know, it, it's a mod. <laughs> it's not going to play exactly like vanilla, uh, and and you, it's definitely on the the person producing the content to communicate that to the player. Uh, don't leave it up to the player to know how all this is going to work. Is that a is that a secret? I want it to be. Oops. So now these guys are hurting themselves. That's a problem. When I was originally playing the game, uh, playing the map, uh, I was really kind of really appreciating all the brushwork and texture work. I think this is a really fantastic job for someone's second Quake map. It's it's super detailed. There's a lot of attention to detail, uh, little things like you know broken things and wires motivating the um, sparks and things like that. It's just really nice. Um, I really wish I could find more secrets, 
But uh, let's see where I'm at three. I'm, I'm about the same as before. Let's see if I can find some more as we go. Okay, now this part does get a little dark, but uh, uh, it's not my monitor. My my setup is set to uh, gamma one. So. This next section, um, we've already established that there's breakables in the map, so I knew exactly what to do, but, uh, again, a little on the dark side, let's do this, a little on the dark side, oh, I'm, I'm being dumb about killing this guy, I'm just gonna kill him, oops. Hey. Did I? Oh. Well, shoot. Okay. Now this section gets a little confusing with the arrows. Uh, not majorly. It's telling you go this way. And you want to go this way. But that does not look like a door to me. Uh, maybe if there was a little bit more trim or something or lights or what have you, I'd get that that was a door. Not a big deal. Very minor. Um, like, you know, it could just be me. Uh, I don't think it's a universal issue. But um, that was something. Because then I turn this corner. I'm like, wait, am I going the wrong? Okay, I got to go this way. Great. Um, I mean, it's obviously it's going to open. But you know, you know what I mean. When you first round the corner and you're dealing with zombies, it's maybe not the most intuitive such a god darn it well can you die already please bye oh all right and the ghostly um ghostly scrags i don't think i've seen that in a mod you know it's kind of fun listen punks get out of my way Okay, something opened, and that's super exciting. I wonder if there's a, is there any stuff down here? Let's see. And, and in normal dump truck fashion, I'm lost. There we go, I'm going this way. I do love getting lost. Okay, that's cool. He put a little trigger there to break it, that's nice. Love it, let's see if this breaks, nope. Okay. Oh yeah, and when I played this, this has a this looks a lot like um, a, a section in one of the maps from Dimensions of the Past. Um, if you have the Quake re-release and you haven't played Dopa, uh, which came out I believe on the 15th anniversary of Quake, and I could be wrong about that. Might have been on the 20th. It was the 20th. I remember loving it when it came out. It was very it's very old school, but. But this room, there's a section in, in that uh, mod that uh, looks quite a bit like this. No problem there. Oh, okay, yeah, there's a secret. Where's that secret? Okay, I'm gonna need it. All right, where is it? Ah, right there. There we go. I'll take that. Okay, I'm playing a little better. That's that's the good news. You guys gotta remember I'm old. Is this a secret? Looks like it could be. Okay, now here's a feature. Oh, okay, by the way, did I get the gold key? Oh, okay, there it is. Uh, I knew that he had one of the enforcers pop out the gold key. And again, that could be a problem for some people. Some people don't agree that you should change the gameplay that much in Quake. I disagree. 
I think as long as you have contingencies for problems, let's say there was lava and the guy died and uh, the key went in the lava, that would be a huge problem. But since he died and nothing got stuck anywhere, you're good to go. Uh, one thing about Prague's dump is that we have the kind of doom style key door. So you'll see uh, when I use this, and if you look in the upper left hand corner, it says you used and kept the gold key card, very doom like. So and you can see it did not take the gold key. So you can use one key to open multiple gold key doors, which is kind of cool. Um, that was added by I like 80s rock, who is an all around awesome person uh, and has added a lot of really great stuff to Prague's dump over the last year while we've been working on the, the new version. Ouch. Okay, bad guy. Okay, here we go. You're dead. All right, let me get out of this alive. See where are we at? A few more. I, think I missed some monsters. Oh, haha. -ha. Might have missed those guys. Like I gotta be really careful with rotfish because they're so deadly. Oh, you know what? I didn't go this way before. So this is new to me. All right, what's going on down here? Hmm. Wait, what's going, what's going on here? Oh. Some funky lighting on that, but um, okay, I'm just gonna. Hmm. Well, here we are. All right, so I'm missing eight monsters. Oh, what's going on? Oh, button. Really great trim. Nice details right here. That's all really great stuff. Oh, maybe I'm gonna 100% this with monsters. Oh yeah, that's right. This set piece is great. Also, love the, love the sky. I want to know where he got the sky, Sputnik. Where'd you get that sky? All right, some nail ogres. All right, I got all the monsters, not all the secrets. But yeah, cool. I love it. Um, really great little base map. A lot of fun. Very easy for me, anyway. Uh, and as I said in the beginning, you know definitely want to play this on um, hard if you play it yourself. Now I'm going to fly through just a little bit and I'll probably edit this section down, but I wanted to highlight some things that were cool. I kind of did it as we were playing, so I'm sorry if I repeat myself, but yeah, really nice usage of, uh, I mean, it's, it's kind of an obvious thing, but you could totally miss it with all the detail on the map, but I love how, uh, you know, Sputnik used that. It's very nice. Really beautiful brushwork and lighting and all this stuff is really nice. Again, you know, you've got little sparks and things. He's using things that were added to Prog's Dump from Rubicon 2 and all kinds of other mods uh, I rated to add features to. But um, I think this is so great. Now, this is something I did before. I let, you'll see all the bounding boxes. I've got um, show bounding boxes bound to a key. And you can see these rot fish. This is kind of for new mappers. You know, these rotfish are traveling between path corners and you, you know, it's pretty easy to do. I've got a video on it, but, um, uh, you know, if you're going to use rotfish like this in a, in a kind of a, uh, aquarium type of deal, uh, you should do that. It looks great. You know, you don't see this too often. A lot of people just put, throw rotfish in and in their maps and, uh, they just kind of sit there and waiting for the player. So that's a really fun, fun little, addition here. I am using VK Quake to play this and I love the the distortion of the water in VK Quake. It's it's something I like a lot. Now, I did have a little critique about this room. It's a little tight. You pop up out of the water. They're all on top of you, which is fine. It all it is is a button room. I think the uh, position of the buttons a little awkward, but that's okay. You know, th this is these are minor minor little things. Uh, as I said before, look at the attention to detail. You have a sparking wall. Uh, that's kind of a different texture and then you've got the panel that has fallen off You know, that's stuff that a lot of mappers do use but for someone making their second map That's a really great attention to detail. So good for you Sputnik really nice stuff um, 
And you, it's, it always kind of blows me away when I go outside of a map and look and realize I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, oh, this is just a little, little, little map. But, uh, you know, there's quite a bit going on here. Uh, so, yeah, good stuff, Sputnik. Awesome work. I'm really happy that you use Prog's Dump. I hope this inspires more people to check it out. We're working on version 3.0 right now. And, uh, oh, look, he had a secret... Uh, Secret backpack there. Yeah, there are all kinds of really cool features coming in the next version of Prog's Dump. I cannot wait to share them with you. Um, I've done some coding. BMFBR from the Alkaline team has uh, done some coding. Uh, I like the 80s rock. A few other folks have kind of jumped in over the past year to upgrade, and version 3 is going to be crazy. So, again, this was Roth by Sputnik. Thanks for hanging in there. We'll see you in the next video.